Can I please just come home and eat lunch for one fucking day? <sighs> what is going on everybody? It is your boy Crypt here and welcome back to another episode of Rapper Reacts. Today we are reacting to Tom McDonald's second diss track against Mac Lethal. This is his response to Mac Lethal's diss track called Tammy McDogfart. I think was the name of it. This shit's wild, man. This, this shit's wild. Let me fix this. This just look fucking dumb. Okay, hold on. Fuck it! No hat! So if you guys are unaware of the situation, uh, Mac Lethal put out some tweets. Tom McDonald thought they were about him. Mac said they weren't about him. I thought they were about him. Then Tom McDonald responded in a diss track, and then Mac Lethal waited a couple days and responded in his own diss track. And now, like, the next day, or the day after the next day, two days later, uh, Tom McDonald has responded again with Mac Lethal Sucks. Very creative name. So in review of this whole thing, uh, I feel like Mac took round one. I even said it in Tom's first diss track reaction that, that I felt like he was just kind of fucking around wasn't really doing much. Mac went all out in his second response and gave a lot of new info that I definitely did not know about. But uh, people have been tweeting me nonstop about this, telling me to react to it. So I'm home on my lunch break and I'm recording this reaction instead of eating again for the fourth day. But it's good. I need to lose weight. So as you guys know, I really do enjoy Mac Lethal. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Tom McDonald, but I definitely don't mind him. So I will do everything I can to try to be as unbiased as possible. I know I say this all the fucking time. It's really hard to be unbiased when you have like personal relationships with someone. But I'm going to listen for the bars, okay, and the disses. I'm hoping there's not a bunch of old disses again. Uh, surely he's learned a little bit from his first one. But I know Tom can rap. He can get some cool punchlines in there. So shut the fuck up, Crip. Let's give it a listen. If you guys don't know, my name is Crip. I am a fat white rapper. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what's going on here? Listen, I think I can hear it. Mac Lethal is hyping himself in the mirror. His wife tries to tell him that she's getting curious. He just yells, Shut the fuck up, it's just Tom Guy's serious. I hoped you would kill it. I'm always an optimist. Thought your response would be flawless and awesome. It's gotta be hard finding time to perfect all your rhymes every night at Narcotics Anonymous. Hi, Dave. Hi, all Dave. Right. Hi, Dave. It's alright. Not even trying. You don't scare me at all. If you did a drive by, I'd wave. It's so cute when you rap. It's like I'm watching my dad trying to use an iPad. You should just give it back. You've been sober like eight years. You're the type of guy who can't have a beer. Have a single drink and need to get some coke and probably suck a dick for a painkiller you party animal you bad boy you're a crazy son of a gun all that karate and still you're a pussy you tap on my shoulder and run okay so what i've gotten so far he's he's back on like the drug stuff he's talking about it in a different way which is better than just saying he's a drug addict he still is like bringing back old stuff that's the problem whenever you have like round two of diss tracks it's hard to it's hard to find new shit. You just start saying st same stuff over and over again. But like I said, he is talking about it in a new way instead of just saying, Mac, you're a drug addict. He's saying, I guess it's hard to write those rhymes when you're at Narcotics Anonymous. Then basically flexing, saying he's not even trying on this track. Uh, he's picking up the flow a little bit, though. That's interesting to hear. I'm digging it. It definitely feels better than the first one already. So let's keep let's keep going with this. Where are you going? I'm over here in a house that you can't afford with your career. Got your own pool, kids in private school. You the fucking mother of the year. You keep talking millions. I googled your wealth. You are worth two, Dave. I am worth 12. You're tweeting at YouTube. Uh, okay. Somebody help with my monetized videos. Dave, that's a tell. Broken, ugly, uh, shorty, stubby, 40-something with a face that was born for punching. Off, but I know at your cards, muffins, the type to wife up the first horror. Fuck them. Oh, okay, okay. He's shooting at his wife now. But that flow, though, like the da 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 I like that. They said he's the type of dude that would wife the first whore who fucked him. That's, that's, uh, as Shaq would say, that's tough. That, man, he's getting at the wife. Things might get a little too personal here. Had some more old jokes in there, but uh, still, like, the, the punches at his wife, man, that's, that's a hard one. That's, ugh, man. That, that's where things start to get a little iffy. All right, let's, let's keep going and see what else he says. That kind of hurts. Big Bad Dave got the Ellen Co sign. Cool. Try to ride that wave to the Hollywood sign. Fool. You were so excited just to get invited. Teeth were freshly white and couldn't cheese enough. You said, I love rap because it's counterculture. Dave, counterculture is who beats you up. My future has Grammys. Your future is handies from Tammy imagining baddies and nasty pajamas and transplanting hair to your head from your fanny. Ah, uh, damn. Dude, I'm, li I'm digging the flows that he's got going on right now. It's def This is hands down better than his first response. Like, no doubt. He said his future is like him transferring hair from his fanny to to his head because he's bald but dude this is definitely a lot better i man this is this is tough oh shit i saw you doing teeth commercials you an actor dave i don't need rehearsals i'll piss in your mouth till you wheeze and gurgle and stomp on your head till your cheeks are purple i was a wrestler that i was xanax you were a customer you did xanax i'll take you and your bitch by the ear and then smash you together like stone cold's beer being a fucking <laughs> loser's in your dna this ain't a punchline it's a psa the chromosomes from your mom and pop create retards and they name them dave nobody's uh, safe no, don't to chain up her legs remove all her eggs put them in bags and then lock them away in the safe and send it away on a plane i'm lucky Bro. that i'm cpr my girl heard you this and she died laughing she was bummed we waited like a week and then she went right back into minecraft and my girl was on def jam your girl looked like death fam she the grim reaper knew had spit ether she collecting the soul of a dead dad this man somebody's gonna get shot in this oh man when you like bring in somebody's wife or like somebody's girlfriend that's when shit gets way too serious 
So I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't go beyond music, but this is getting really hurtful. Like, there's a difference between diss tracks and music and, like, diss tracks and personal shit. And this is, like, just cross the fucking border into personal shit. I don't know if I like where this is going. Talking about his wife saying she'd chain her legs together and take her eggs out so he can't make more babies. Dude, oh, man. Like I said, this is kind of crossed the border that I was hoping it wouldn't cross. I know Max said he wasn't going to respond, but I feel like Max going to respond in, like, finding him and, like, trying to kill him. Not even, okay, but let's, let's just keep going. They're gonna need a whole family of coffins when you crisp and warm to solve all your problems. Oh my fucking god. Okay, hold on. I, I didn't mean to stop right well, I did mean to stop right there. I shouldn't have stopped. That, okay, somebody's gonna get shot. When you crisp, oh my god. When he said when you crisp and warm to stop all your problems. Crisp and warm killed his whole fucking family. And then killed himself. I'm scared for what's gonna happen out of this. Oh shit. You know, like I'm a huge fan of rap and a huge fan of hip hop. But when shit starts getting crossed over like this. Like I said, it's, it's just, this is where people die. This is where people get shot, and this is where people get hurt. So I, I don't know what I'm, I don't know how I'm feeling. The shame and embarrassment, all of the comments from fans you had. I saw it, you lost them. Ain't dropped an album in four years, dog. Rapping is your hobby. My career, less than a year, 20,000 physical copies. Mm. I have millions of streams, I'm living your dream. You're a glorified YouTuber, look like a meme. Go to Stupid Extremes, definition of try hard. Watch me rap after eating a Tide Pod, dying for attention. <laughs> That's why you started this little beef. You're so desperate, expect that right after this ends, your sex day probably leaked. Okay, so, oh man. So I don't particularly know if, like, Max started this whole beef. Like, he did put out the tweet and stuff, but, like, Tom initiated the diss tracks, and that's where all this shit, like, really elevated. So that right there, it's kind of a reach for me, but I'm, I'm still really hung up on the whole Chris Benoit thing. That's just fucked. You've been on Ellen and Rogan. Why aren't you a star? Here, let me tell you, it is in the bars. It's the way that you look. It's the way that you are. Nobody cares about your music no more. Dog, you do impressions. You rap in 20 styles, and you think it's flexing. I got a question. Why you got to pretend to be everyone else to resemble impressive? I killed you Ooh. already. This don't need a sequel. I'm honestly bored with this shit. Feels like I'm kicking the corpse of shoes. You can't afford to feel horrible doing you like this. How many rappers wrote your response? Come on, Dave. Give him credit. I know you sent text. I saw with my eyes. I know what you said, Dave. I read it. You a real piece of shit. Now I'm like a real piece of shit. Like if a piece of shit ate a piece of shit and took a pee and shit, you're that piece of shit. I'm on like five minutes shit. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You were canceled and fired from MTV. The network wanted something fresh and clean. I bet any day they'll be calling me. You left rhyme stairs because you had to. You didn't walk away. It wasn't something you planned, dude. Got lost in the drugs in the world when caught pants down with another man's girlfriend. Piece of shit. Uh, is that Not true? Like real I don't know if that's shit. true. Like if a piece of shit fucked a piece of shit and got an STD, you're that piece of shit. You got a pet bird, bet you never thought you'd be dead first. I'ma put you both in the oven when you get burned. I'ma put you both in a pet urn. Piss into the bottle, mix it up and turn the ash. To plaster, give it to your bitch. Tell her make statues of me just to capture my win. My girl will just spit in her face and will dip, get a hammer and come back and smash it to bits. Put a plaque in his place so that no one forgets that your biggest mistake was as good as it gets for a guy whose career doesn't even exist. It's the peak of the mountain for you. This is it, yours. Bro, that whole scheme was fucking dirty. I don't. It was kind of quick, so I don't know if you guys caught that, but he basically said uh, he would burn Mac and his pet bird in an oven or like with his wraps, and then put him in an urn and turn him to plaster and give it to his wife to make a statue of him, and that his girlfriend would come fight her and then smash the statue with a hammer, and that he would replace the statue with the plaque saying, here lies Mac, and that this was, like, the best his career ever got. Like, the whole scheme was nuts. Oh, God, dude. Okay, let's let's keep moving on. We still got, we got, like, 45 seconds left. Okay, here we go. Aesthetic is pathetic. You don't get it. I'm pathetic. Oh, shit. Your are born. Fuck it. Get his world record. Be careful where you were headed. I'm cemented as a legend. David Sheldon Severed had his destiny to be the evidence. Every room you ever enter, I will always be the elephant. While you try to fit this capital L into development, you dead little Lennon, I send a letter to heaven that explodes when it opens. I hope it gets your attention. I can smell it. You sweating, and it's 11 11. I make a wish that when you die, you come back resurrected so I can kill you again and again and again for the record. If you're feeling kind of froggy and you jump, you get dissected. Oh, dear. I can't Believe I okay. Set this shit straight. All right, let me pause it. So I like the idea of that I like that he tried to go fast and like kind of mock and mack what he was doing. I heard some of the stuff in there. I think he said it's 11 11. I'll make a wish that you'll come back to life so I can kill you again and again. And then they got really slurred right there in the middle. Uh, that's kind of what happens when people who don't really rap fast normally like try to rap fast. Definitely started off really strong with like pronunciation and stuff, but like I said, it really slurred right there in the middle. It was hard for me to hear what he was saying. So I like the idea. The execution was it was kind of wishy washy. But let's end it off here. Man, old ears. I hope you hear exactly what I say. Man, I'm here. You said you. This is the same ending as the last one. My name, it is. So here, I'll say it so you don't forget it, gang. It's Tom McDonald, bitch. Okay, so he ended it off the exact same way, which, uh, again, I think that's a really smart thing to do. Okay, so, um, 
Yeah, Mac took round one. This was a very good response to Mac's diss. Mac said he wasn't gonna respond any to any diss track that was made. Man, the stuff about his wife. Like, not even that like, it was stuff that we didn't know, but like just attacking at his wife and like attacking his wife. That shit right there is just, man, like I said, that is how people fucking die. Like, that's beyond diss track shit. That's shot in the fucking head shit. That's fucking dead. Like, coffin dead, straight in the ground, six feet deep, no longer breathing. So I'm really hoping Mac kind of takes this with a grain of salt. Calms down, because if this were me, I would find someone and try to murder them. I, I don't know if I would, but like, like I said, that, that's how serious it's, it's gotten now. I'm really hoping it stays with music and uh, there, there, nobody gets hurt out of this. So that's just my take on it. So I, I would like for Mac to respond, but again, I don't want him to respond and like dig into like personal stuff like that to where shit just escalates even more and somebody gets hurt. But we'll see, okay? Let's keep it music. Let's keep it civil, guys. Uh, but until next time, it has been your boy Crypt. And I'm really fucking scared about what's about to happen. So next, next time, next video, we'll, we'll, I'll see you then. I'm flabbergasted. I, I'm fluttered. Okay, pay out of a bandana. I almost had penis.